All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to replace the air injection pump um, on a Mercedes M272 V6, and this should be similar for M273 V8. Uh, first step is going to be to get to the pump, which is just pull up on this front cover, and this is the pump. All right, the next step is going to be to undo the hoses going to the pump. There's one big one on the front here. There's one small one um, on the top here, and then there's another small one of the same size on the bottom, kind of 180 degrees around from this. And there's also an electrical connector back there. So I'm going to start with the front hose. And it takes a little bit of force to pull them off. And the top hose here. And that's great. So I just decided to remove this top hose entirely um, in order to get to the other hose, which is down on the side here. And I'm just going to kind of push that one down and off of the pump. Um, and then I'm going to release the connector. That might be a two handed job. So. so here's the connector on the back of the pump. Um, you're going to squeeze this tab on top and then another tab, same tab on the bottom. Um, just like that, and then pull it straight back. There are two prongs that it plugs into, and you're going to pull it straight uh, towards the back of the car off those prongs. All right, so now I have the uh, plug undone. Uh, you can see the two prongs there that it plugs into. So now what I'm going to do is unbolt the pump, and that are that is five Torx T30s, I believe. Um, one there, one down there, and then there are three kind of hidden between the belt and the pump. It's a little too dark here, um, but I'll try to show them. All right, so I got all these screws out. Um, in total, there are five. Let's see if I can focus. Um, and I just put them in the order here of going from left on the pump over to the right. So there's a long one, then two short ones, and then the two on the right are two long ones. So now with everything disconnected, um, the pump should just lift out. Just kind of carefully wiggle it. And there it is. And there's this bracket on the back that we'll have to transfer over um, to the new pump. All right, so the first thing to do is to get the uh, bracket off the old pump and onto the new pump. Um, and this is three more. Torx T30s here, um, and the bracket goes in this orientation. If you see the plug um, and where the two ports are, it goes just like that. And I think it can only go on one way. All right, so the new pump is in, um, and it can be a little bit tricky to get everything back aligned. Um, so usually I just start <coughs> start one of the bolts while holding the pump, and then maybe start one more. Um, and you want to be careful because it is an aluminum block and heads, so with steel fasteners, so it can be a little bit tedious. Just don't over tighten anything. All right, the pump is fastened back in. Uh, now all that's left is to get the hoses back on. This one's kind of tough because you have to pull up on it onto the pump, and then this one. And then the big one right here. Push that on there. And then push this on here. All right, the cover is back on and we're good to go.